Warning, the following video may contain a bitter 25-year-old playing video games meant for children. If you enjoy any of this content, please hit the like button. Subscribe and follow me on Twitter if you want more. Thank you. Hey guys, it's Scar399 here and welcome back. Got another episode of Minecraft Vanilla Plus for you guys. So let's get started. So in this episode, I think we're going to do uh, some mob killing. Uh, for Because reasons. Because reasons. Exactly because reasons. Now, I've been... I did a little bit of uh, building off camera because I wanted to get a couple things structured and we've been doing a lot of, you know, digging of stuff out of things. Hold on while I change the sound settings a little bit. There we go. That should make it more comfortable for me. And I figured I would spare you guys the digging out of another, you know, pointless shaft. So obviously this is where we're going to have our portal rooms. So as you guys remember, we have the Twilight Forest mod, which means the portal to the Twilight Forest will be right here. Uh, so I, I tried to color code them a little bit. You know, the redstone is, as you could probably guess, this is going to be the nether portal. This one's going to be the end portal, and this one's going to be the... Uh, what's it called again? Um, I don't know what it's called. The portal to not-so-bad land. So, first off, we're going to spend the daytime going out and collecting resources. And we're going to spend the nighttime looking for endermen. The reason for that is you can actually make endstone in this game mode without going to the end. And more importantly than that, you can actually make end portals using aforementioned endstone. Before we go anywhere, let's let's take care of something that I should have taken care of a long time ago. I'll take this one, and... Uh, where's the map button? M, waypoints, new waypoint, right here, home base. Done. 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 Perfect. Fantastic. Now we actually know where we're supposed to be going when we come back. Yeah, let's head out in, uh, let's see, what direction haven't we gone? Let's go that away. We died up there, so we've been in that direction. It's a good color for our base, our home base as well. Let's just head off in this general direction here. If we can get through the dense, dense forest. Just notice that I have the uh, graphic settings set to fast still, but that's okay. That does not bother me. It, it might bother you guys for a little bit, so I might switch it back after a while, but yeah, whatever. It's running smoothly, that's the important thing. My computer isn't overheating, it's not exploding. It's not too hot out today, I think that's what's doing it. Like, the heat has just been killing my computer, and that might be what's been causing the frame rate issues that we've been having. Like, the, the frame rates just drops off when it gets too hot. Fan tries to cool everything off, and CPU has to slow down, and it's... Yeah, it's bad for your computer. It's very bad. So anyways, how have you guys been? I, uh... Haven't been posting as many videos as I want lately. I know I've said that a couple times. But, yeah, you know, it's it's a thing. Like, back when I had my, my thesis going, that was the reason. Uh, right now, it's just that I've been doing more work than what I usually do. Or doing more work at work than I usually do. An army of sheep. Let's test our katana on them. Rah! The mighty katana. Uh, no... No frame skipping. Oh, village. How convenient. Do they have a, a blacksmith that I can commandeer stuff from? No, but they do have clay. I like clay. Let's have some. Kind of weird that you can get clay in here. Alright. Uh, we're going to do, do something about that, so, uh... Oh, there's more clay in there. It's flooded. This whole place is flooded. 
sounds weird. Oh, it doesn't matter. Whoa! Frame skip. Sorry about that. I sometimes scream when the frames drop. I sometimes scream when the bass drops. There's a dog. I think this is one of the houses with bookshelves in it. Uh, we're going to want to visit that. No, it's not one of the houses with bookshelves in it. Let's look for one. Oh, there's a blacksmith. Definitely going to want to hit that up. Sometimes they have good stuff in there. Not always, but sometimes. Got coal right there that we're going to take in a minute. Um, we'll take the iron and uh, definitely the diamonds. Eh, we'll take the bread with us. Iron sword can stay. That is one heck of a church, though. Like, straight on a cliff's edge. That must be absolutely terrifying in an earthquake. God's judgment upon thee. Earthquake made the whole church fall over. Everybody died. It was sad. Except me, because I'm a heathen. Anyways, let's, uh... Um, make our way up to that house? How do we get up there? Oh, I guess we can go around this way. Now, I do have the More Villages and Better... Well, I think it's Better Villages mod installed. Though, I may not have actually configured it properly. How the heck are we going to get up there? Alright, where's the entrance? Pretty sure the entrance is, like, in dirt here. Yeah, pretty much. Alternate entrance! Hey, buddy! Oh, this is where the entrance is. That's neat! That's a neat little entrance you got there. Alright. House fixed. Now. Let's see about moving onwards. So there wasn't much to, to find in that house, but... You know, we, we can't always be super fortunate. I hear all of the chickens up ahead. Yeah, where's all the chickens at? There it is! Hello, all of the chickens. Ow, hurt myself. There he is, another one. Hey, chicken! Die, chicken. Hey, wolf! Don't have bones for you today, sorry. Um... Okay, we apparently got all the doors now, as well. Kind of don't need those, but uh, thanks for trying, game. Should have brought a bed with us. Well, actually, no. We're going to be fighting during nighttime, so... Ow. Hurt myself. Hey, another chicken. As, as long as we're way away from our base, we don't really need to be uh, conservative with uh, animals. We can always go out and find new ones. Near your base, you usually want to save them, because if you find animals close to your base, you can always just bring them back and breed them. But when they're this far out, there's really no point. Kinda don't want to kill the pigs just because I want to save inventory space. If I find any more chickens, though... That'll be a different story. Ah! Oh. Fail. Fail jump. Ooh, how far out are we? About 600. That's okay. If we stay under a kilometer, we're good. Alright, it's still daytime. Where's the sun at? Ah, oh, it's getting close. Getting close to nighttime. Let's go find ourselves a nice vantage point from which to fight all of the mobs. And then I will tell you the specific mob that we are looking for, which is why we want to find a very specific battleground. 
and uh, we're going to build a little bit of the battleground as well once we find it. Oh, hey. Another village. How convenient. Does this one have... No. Oh boy, I could have, uh, I could have hurt myself there. So those houses with the bookshelves in them are pretty rare. Still want to keep an eye out for one. Okay, we'll take the iron. Take the gold. Take the bread. Have we eaten anything? Huh. We want to find... Find a open area. Sort of. Open area. And that's going to be hard to find, isn't it? Let's get closer to that mountain. Or stalactite, or whatever you want to call it. want some of this rock. Hmm. This is going to be a little difficult. Because the world generation is just not cooperating with us. We have forest in all directions for a significant distance. Now, what we're looking for is Enderman. And the reason is, you use Ender Pearls. Hold on, we need to turn the uh, difficulty back on. I forgot I turned that off last time. Just realized that at the last second that we aren't getting any mobs spawning in. All right. That looks like as good a spot as any. Now let's get over there and get entrenched. Those guys didn't see us. We're being stealthy. If we get across this water, we'll be able to get up there just fine. Oops. We don't want to fall. Right? This looks like a nice, safe area. Nice plateau. Uh, maybe we'll, we'll go atop this thing, actually. Okay, there's also a little hill fort up here. Come on. Zombies? This way. This way, gentlemen. Alright, that's useful technique. Alright. Hill Fort build. Right. Hill Fort. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Come on, spider. Five and this. All right, we need a little bit more cobble to finish building this properly. So we are, of course, building a fortress to defend ourselves with against the Endermen. Because Endermen cannot enter a two-block high space... Alright, let's build the exit direction. 
Should have brought some wood with me, but there is a tree down there I can chop down. Somewhere. Don't remember quite where I put it. Alright, there's an enderman. As long as he doesn't despawn, we'll be able to do this. safely do that to take them out. That was really, really loud. Alright, Creeper. Creeper buddy, I don't trust you. Not gonna lie, this sword is not good for Creepers. Well, I guess it is. It might kill creepers faster than they can blow up, but I'm not going to test that right now. Right, let's get ourselves healed up. Did he fall down there? Yeah, he did. Okay. So, let's keep trying to spot Alright, good defensive measures in place. Uh, let's get this area lit up so we don't have enemies spawning in directly adjacent to us. Hmm. Did we get an Ender Pearl? We did get an Ender Pearl. That's very good. We need, in total, only two. Ender pearls. So it's actually not that bad to get an end portal in this game. Or it's not. How should I put it? It's not as hard to get an end pearl in this game. Uh, while we're at it, we might want to try and pick up some. some lava so that we can get ourselves a nice amount of uh, obsidian as well. Right. The Endermen are not spawning. We did find pumpkins. Not a bad thing to find. Not what I'm looking for, though. Alright, nothing seems to spawn up here, which means this might be above the altitude that they spawn at normally. I think mobs prefer to spawn at specific altitudes and are less frequent higher up. Though I'm not sure about that. This sword, however, is fantastic for uh, dealing with the skeletons because it doesn't send the skeletons flying. Which means you can get up nice and close and swing away. Alright, let's... Well, I guess the render distance is fine. If we increase the render distance, it won't help because the Enderman won't be able to react to us at that distance. Hmm. Enderman hunting. An exciting pastime. The sun's coming up. Alright, well, I guess one Ender Pearl for today is not too bad. How far away are we from our base? We're 859. So, you know. We're a ways away. Hmm. I'm gonna go down and get some wood when it becomes daytime. And I'll end the episode here. I think. And then we'll try again in the next episode to get it nighttime again. And then we will hunt some more Endermen. I'll see you guys... In the next episode, bye bye